Hi guys today we are talking about planes fasten your seat belts and nice flight is waiting for you get ready we are starting. Everything about aeroplane introduction aeroplanes are large, self-propelled flying machines. They have wings that can create lift and carry the plane through the air. A pilot controls a plane by moving its main control surfaces. Some aeroplanes allow for a degree of vertical movement, such as rotary wing aircraft or tilt rotor aircraft. Aeroplane is a large, self-propelled flying machine. An aeroplane is a large, self-propelled flying machine. Aeroplanes have many uses, including transportation, airplanes, research and development of aircraft technology military use in warplanes or bombers. Planes can be powered by propellers, jet engines or rockets. In the early days of flight, planes were powered by propellers. The propeller is a rotating wing that pushes air downwards to create thrust. This method is still used on smaller planes today because it's very efficient and requires little maintenance or fuel expenditure. However, as aeronautics became more advanced and larger aircraft were developed, jet engines began replacing them for their greater power output and ability to fly faster than propellers could achieve, though they do have their limitations. Some jet engines can produce up to 15 times more thrust than those that use propellers. This means they're capable of achieving speeds far beyond what conventional wings would allow them. Jet engines also allow pilots access into outer space where rockets are used instead of propellers, jet engines because they require less effort from pilots since there's no need for constant thrusting during takeoff, landing procedures like with fixed wing craft such as helicopters or gliders. Aeroplanes have wings that can create lift and carry the plane through the air. Wings are used to create lift. They do this by lifting the plane up, which in turn allows it to travel through the air. This means that if you want your plane to move from one point A, where you are, to point B, where you need it, then your wings should be able to lift up enough air so that when your plane moves forward, all of its weight is supported by what's left behind at point A. If there isn't enough air for this, then no matter how fast or high you go with your engines running full speed you won't be able to fly. And since most aeroplanes have many engines working together under pressure from fuel tanks and other parts inside their bodies, they use lots of fuel while flying too far away from home base where they were built originally therefore causing larger amounts of pollution into our oceans every day due mainly because factories produce more waste on land instead where it can easily be disposed off properly rather than releasing harmful chemicals into our environment. A pilot controls a plane by moving its main control surfaces. The pilot controls a plane by moving its main control surfaces. The most important of these are the wings and tail, which are used to change the direction of the plane and its speed. The rudder is also an important part of controlling a plane because it can be moved to turn left or right, up or down, or even push you backward in your seat if you want to take off fast, but only if there aren't any other people nearby. The cockpit of an airplane has many different levers and buttons that control different parts of your flight. Some aeroplanes allow for a degree of vertical movement, such as rotary wing aircraft or tilt rotor aircraft. Some aeroplanes allow for a degree of vertical movement, such as rotary wing aircraft or tilt rotor aircraft. As the name suggests, Tilt rotors have two main rotors mounted on the aircraft's fuselage instead of one. This allows them to fly at high altitudes, which makes them useful for military purposes but also for civilian purposes such as commercial air travel. Aeroplanes are used for travel, both for business and pleasure. Aeroplanes are used for travel, both for business and pleasure. For example, an aeroplane can transport a person to another country or city. It may also be used to transport goods or people from one place to another. In some cases, people use aeroplanes when they want to go somewhere quickly and safely without using a bus or train because they think that flying will be faster than driving in a car or taking the bus there and back again. Aeroplanes have been invented since the early 20th century but only became popular after World War II due to their ability to carry many passengers at once which could save money on fuel costs when compared with other forms of transportation such as boats which require less maintenance due to being made out of metal instead. I talked about planes today, thank you all. Don't forget to subscribe and like the video, don't forget to turn on the bell to be notified of the videos, see you, guys.